Hello my beautiful face yogis. It is Friday afternoon here in Germany and it's time for me or another coach to go live here and share some tips. And today I was really, 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 or I am really, really looking forward to this topic because it has to do something with your sleeping position and how your sleep or the way you are sleeping has to do with face yoga and how you can easily improve your face and prevent your face with the correct or with some tips I can give you regarding your sleeping position. So I will wait a couple of times, uh, a couple of minutes, sorry, to see. I can see that you are watching. That is amazing. Maybe please, if somebody can just type something so that I can see, I can see your comments because I really want to answer your questions this evening all about all this evening this friday all about the sleeping position so please type something in the comments so that i can make sure that i can get all your questions i can see thumbs up i can see people joining i can see who is watching ayesha thank you you're saying hi kanika oh kanika thank you so much anne hi hello okay now i can see it so i don't want to miss your questions um that is important for me because for me this was quite a challenging thing and you all know that the face yoga method or here at the face yoga method we are kind of saying the best position you can sleep or you can yeah you can sleep on for your face neck and décolletage, I will talk about the décolletage too, is your back. But I know that it is challenging and it is also challenging for me. So it was hard for me just to, to try to sleep on my back for a couple of hours and I still cannot sleep completely on my back. Hi Sherry! And that's why I want to share some tips for first how to sleep on your back. And second, of course, we will talk about side sleeping because that's what I have to do in the middle. Sorry, my daughter's eye. Um, in the middle of the night, I'm waking up. I cannot sleep on my back anymore. I have to turn to my side and um, I definitely will share some tips there. So be prepared. This life is going to be a little bit longer. I'm trying to keep it short, but to cover all of this, I will try not to answer your questions while I'm doing, while I'm talking. Stomach sleeper. Yes, I know, Maddie. That is the worst, I have to say. Um, but we will talk about that too. So all the sleeping position we will go through. Also regarding to your questions, but I will do the live first. And at the end, I will go through all your questions. So that everybody who just wants to hear the information can stay for, I would say, 20 minutes and then I will save some time to answer your question. So not everybody needs to stay and I'm talking and talking and talking. I will try to keep it quick and short in the beginning and then when I see your questions, I will dive a little bit deeper and whoever doesn't have that time can just go and has still the information. Okay. So why the sleeping position is so important. It is the mo Oh, I'm sorry. I have to turn this one off. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm in my daughter's room and I think her iPad is talking to me. I don't know why. Okay. Technical things. I'm not, not good in that, but with the sleeping position. So, okay. When you imagine when we are standing, Gravity is doing a lot, not only on our body, but also on our face. Everybody knows that, right? Because everything is sagging down. That's why we are getting jowls. That's why our nasolabial folds. You can actually see that when I'm like this, my nasolabial folds are there, of course. But when I look down, can you see that gravity is doing? I don't know. Can you? I hope so. Gravity is doing even more and everything is being pulled 
down. That's also why we get droopy eyelids and droopy corners of the mouth and this one happens and some other body parts are starting to sag down. And when we are sleeping, when we are sleeping on our back, what is happening? Gravity is working not against us, it's working for us because when we are lying like this, gravity is working this way. Not this way or when I'm lying down this way, but gravity is working this way, giving us a very gentle but effective facelift while we are lying on our back sleeping. So actually we can do a lot for our face, neck and decolletage, um, while we are sleeping. And as a physical therapist, sleeping on your back is an amazing sleeping position for your entire back, for your shoulders, for your lungs, for your, um, how is it called, for all your organs, because you're not smooshing something together when you are lying on your side, so everything is open, your energy can flow, your blood circulation is amazing, your lymphatic system can kind of work, it doesn't work that much when we are lying down, but it is still working. So that's why sleeping on our back, not only for our face, has gorgeous um, benefits. I know that there are other things. I know that that it is important for some. I think in Ayurveda, um, they say you should sleep on your... I, I never get that into my head. I'm sorry. I think on your right side because the stomach is on the... the um, the exit of the stomach is on the right side. So that's why we should sleep on our right side. So everybody needs to find that what's best for, for you. But I'm just talking um, face, neck and decolletage wise, and I will not cover all the other, of course, also important things here. So that's the first part. The first part is gravity is working and also, now I'm coming to sleeping on my side. When I'm sleeping on my side, I always compress something like the lymph nodes and the, the blood vessels, the lymphatic vessels. I'm also blocking, uh, you know me already, I'm talking a lot about energy and the energy needs to flow. It's not possible when I'm just um, lying on something where I'm not used to do that and or where I shouldn't do that. And another point is that I'm pressing wrinkles into my skin and that's difficult from getting expression wrinkles. When I'm getting wrinkles be like here on my forehead because I'm rising one eyebrow or I'm doing this all the time, these are expression wrinkles and I can just stop this, right? I can stop rising my forehead all the time. That's what we are learning when we are doing face yoga. But when I'm sleeping on one side all the time, all the time and I will demonstrate it for you for each and every single area. So when I'm lying on my side like this and really smashing my face like this into the pillow and it really is like this for hours every night and we all prefer one side, right? So all the side sleepers and please let me know. I want to see in the comments, please, are you a side sleeper? Are you sleeping on your back or are you sleeping on your stomach? Just give me um, some comments here so that I can see um, where I can, where I should talk about most, sorry, <coughs> where I should talk about most. So please comment below, side sleeper, stomach sleeper or sleeping on my back, left side sleeper. Sherry, this is the first comment I see, very precise. I love that because that's um, when you have one side, side sleeper, Nancy, thank you. A, a lot of side and both front, Christina. Okay, side, side. Okay, definitely. So when you are lying on your side all the time, it's not just that you are pressing these wrinkles into your skin, right? You are not, there is no muscle activation when you're lying on your side. You're just pressing these wrinkles. And for me, you can see that in my, in my eye area. When I just do this, you can already see where the wrinkles are formed, right? And over time, I will get these wrinkles permanently. <coughs> Sorry, I got something in my throat. So when I'm doing this every night for four, five, six hours, 
these wrinkles will get permanent. Next thing, the nasolabial fold line. When you have one deeper on one side, this is probably because you are a side sleeper. When you have one side longer than the other side, there are many reasons you can get that. But sleeping position is one of them and I want to concentrate on that. When you are getting a marionette line on this side and not on the other side, maybe because you are sleeping more on one side. These smoker lines on one side, not because you are smoking, mm -hmm. no, just because you are sleeping on one side. I will check if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. So. Also, when I'm lying on my side all the time, we are coming back now to um, the gravity part, right? So when I'm lying on my side like this all the time, what is gravity doing? Gravity is working this way. And what happens? Right, I'm getting an asymmetrical, no, not an asymmetrical nose. Yeah, an asymmetrical nose, kind of. So the, the tip of my tongue will over time we are talking about decades not over two weeks but it will um, tend to go more to one side next thing also wrinkles on my nose so everything is getting out of symmetry out of this line the next part is my um, skull so the entire side left side sleeper i'm seeing so many side sleepers okay so i'm absolutely absolutely correct here today okay so my entire head the skull is heavy and when i'm lying like this all the time not only i'm getting more wrinkles i am also um how can i say that press this side flat so if you have one side that is really flat and the other side is more up maybe it's your sleeping position so check that in front of a mirror look in the mirror the next morning and check where do i have sleeping wrinkles and i have some examples i don't know if you can see them um but maybe oh it's good when you're in your daughter's room i have a, a brow pencil here maybe i will use it oh my gosh i hope she she's fine with that so i can show you the picture but i don't think you can see the wrinkles right no you can't see the wrinkles okay so starting from here if you get wrinkles let me see if i can do that if you're getting vertical lines somewhere on your face like these wrinkles or wrinkles here just beside um besides the the nasolabial fold or a deeper and longer nasolabial fold on one side smoker lines are often pressed into the skin due to um, our sleeping position and there's another reason that's really tension but some people have um, these lines in front of the ear can you see that yeah these lines in front of the ear here like one two three sometimes seven eight nine small wrinkles in front of the ear a lot of times that's because of tension and the chewing muscles i will can talk about that in a different video but most of the time it's because you are sleeping on one side and all the side sleepers i think know that um, when you wake up because your ear hurts right because you are lying like this or like this and of course when you lie like this you smash together um the skin okay i'm looking really crazy now but all these these lines the vertical or diagonal lines on your face except of course the nasolabial folds and most of the time the marionette lines but if you have these lines most of the time they are sleeping wrinkles okay now i have talked a lot about that but now we are coming to the solution <laughs> sleeping on your back which is not easy so when you want to sleep on your back first of all your sleep is the most important thing you have to sleep no matter stomach side back standing sitting i don't care but sleep is important. It is so important for your entire body. You need your sleep. You need your beauty sleep. Your skin, your entire body, mind, spirit, soul, everything needs the sleep to recover, to, I don't know, I, I will stop here. It is important. But 
your beauty sleep also. So yes, I will talk about pillows too. Um, so that's, that's the first thing that you really need to have in mind. Sleeping is the most important thing. Please don't try to go to bed, lay there on your back and try to fall asleep for two hours. Nope, don't do that. There are some tips if you want to learn how to sleep on your back. First of all, first of all, if you start and you are not a back sleeper, start on a day that was a good day, a relaxing day, not a lot of stress, not that all these thoughts are going around and round in your head, in your head anymore. Bad puffy eyes. I will come back to the puffy eyes sleeping position. Um, not a stressful day. Choose maybe a weekend where you don't have to think about, oh my gosh, in six hours I have to stand up and go to work. No, try to choose days where you, where you have the time, where you can be relaxed, where you just can focus on, hey, today I will try it and prepare it. So I would say the first, oh my gosh, um, kind of six months, I would say, I needed to prepare my body, my mind every single evening before I was able to sleep on my back. I have problems with my lower back. It hurt. It hurt so bad when I was trying to sleep on my back. My shoulders were painful. I couldn't even breathe really good. It was horrible. It was really not easy. So I know where you are if you have tried it and you just can't. The first thing is you need to try to calm down your mind. So do something soft, smooth before you go to bed. Listen to a podcast, listen to nice music, go for a walk, get some oxygen, a slow walk, not a power walk. Do something that relaxes you. The next step, and that was the, the key for me and my body and my face to get used to it, was a stretching routine. Right now, I'm stretching every single evening before I go to bed, just because it's good for my body. And I don't want to have any tension in my body when I go to sleep. Because I know my 11 lines are getting way deeper when I'm going to bed without taking the tension of my face and my neck. And also I'm waking up with a tense shoulder or a tense neck in the, ne the next morning when I'm not stretching my body. And it's a seven minute routine. And I know you're all busy, but excuse me, everybody has seven minutes in the morning and seven minutes in the evening to stretch. I don't accept any excuses here. So I'm doing a short, it's really, it's just five to seven minutes and that's it. So I'm stretching my neck. I'm starting from the beginning. I'm stretching my neck to the sides and, and, and to the back, my traps. I'm, I'm stretching my shoulders, mostly my, my chest because I'm working on the computer all the time. So I need to open my chest, my rib cage, just a, a, a couple of side stretches. I have to stretch my back and my hips. That's for me. The most important part, because I'm sitting all the time with my legs um, bent, so I have to stretch my legs, my um, psoas, and also my hamstrings. And I'm doing something good for my feet because they are have done a lot every single day. And that's it. And that was a game changer for me. So just, just try it. Just try to lie, lay on your back without anything beneath you. So if you can on the naked ground and just feel, where do you feel the tension? Is it the back of your head where you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm pressing, I don't know why I'm pressing my head. Is it one side of your shoulder, maybe the left side where you really feel the ground? Don't lay on a yoga mat or something um, smooth and, and cozy, really on the plain, Ground. Can you say that on the plain ground? Yeah, maybe. You know what I mean. And feel your body. Just feel where, where is the most contact. Where are the contact points? Is it maybe my, my, um, my tailbone or 
I don't know, the, the calves, where do I find it? And then try to stretch a little bit, lay down again and feel again so that you find out how to balance out your body, how to balance out the muscles, how to gently stretch before you go to bed. When you are in bed, make sure that you have a lot of pillows around you and use all of them in the beginning. So if you know your hips and your lower back is tight in the morning, use a thick pillow underneath your knees so that you are lying a little bit in this position with your legs. You should lay really flat on your back, idly, but it's not possible in the beginning if you're not used to it. So put something under your knees. I don't know if I can. So that your, your knees are maybe, <laughs> you can just see. Okay, no, that doesn't. I have a bed here. Wait, I will make it really interactive now. <laughs> Ooh, that's the beauty of life. I hope you are still there. Yeah, so there is my, there is Lotta's bed. Yeah, you can see that hopefully. Yeah, so I would like, I would take a very small pillow. Let's assume her sleeping t-shirt now is a pillow. And I would use a very, very small, very, very flat pillow. I cannot bring you... Oh, wait, give me a second. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Okay, it's better now? Yeah, so when, you're, when I'm lying on my bed like this, I would lay like this and take the first nights, take your pillow, really, really comfortable. It's not easy, I'm sorry. Like this, so that you are really placing your legs in a really comfortable position. The same, the same when you're lying on your side. Take the pillow between your, um, between your legs, like this. Because when I'm lying with my legs like this, it hurts my knees and also my pelvis and my lower back is not in a good position like this. It should be like this, right? So when I'm lying like this, there's always tension on my hip. So you definitely want to place a huge pillow between your legs like this and when you are lying on your back a small pillow is perfect but when you are lying on your side you need to to fill out this entire room because you don't want to sleep like this so you have to use a, a um, thicker pillow when you are lying on your side than when you are lying on your back. So, and of course that is interrupting in the beginning because when you fall asleep on your back and then you turn on your side, you have to change the pillows. But I'm doing that kind of in my sleep right now. So I'm so used to, to change it that I don't care. So coming to the next um, things when you are oh it's so great that i have this bed here i haven't thought about that before i was going live but it's please let me know if this is too much and if you cannot see me or hear me anymore but it's so much better when you can see the bed and can see what i'm doing here so when i'm lying on my side i hope you can see that it should be okay when i'm lying on my side and this pillow is not big enough for me it should be something like this and imagine I have something between my um, my knees too so that they are in this position. What happens with this arm? I need to bring it somewhere forward because when it's here I'm compressing this area and also this arm has to stay somewhere here. Please don't do this. Why? I don't know if you can see that but when I am, give me one second, when I'm lying like this, what is happening? I am creating these lines um, on my decolletage. So trying to get back so that you can see me a little bit better. <laughs> Sorry, but it's so good that you could see that. So um, you are, I don't know if it's, no, you cannot see that perfectly. But if you are somebody who has these lines on the decolletage like this, sleeping wrinkles, it's that easy. So you have them. And talking about sleeping wrinkles, when you have a little bit more, 
then I have, I will talk about it because it is so important. When you have a little bit more than I have and you are lying on your side, of course, it's also, how do you say that? Been pushed or scrunched together and you will get these wrinkles. This will make it even, even more and you will get all these V shaped wrinkles on your neck, on your decolletage, you will get these wrinkles here. You don't want to have when you wear a beautiful summer dress. No, you won't. So everything that goes this way. And if you, if you have a little bit more oops than I have, um, please sleep with not a bra because you don't want to have anything that really, um, that sticks or I don't know what. What is really, really good is um, a kind of um, cotton sports bra, bralette without anything. And you can buy it a little bit bigger so that you don't have um, this problem, like, like um, it's compressing, right? That's the word. So it has to be really comfortable. But when you keep them in place, I'm sorry, it's getting really weird now. If you keep them in place, you can turn to the sides and it will not compress everything and you are will prevent getting these décolletage, can you say that, décolletage wrinkles. Okay, so, yes, I'm afraid my décolletage is lined. Yeah, sleeping wrinkles. When you're sleeping on your back, when you stretch um, your chest area before you go to sleep and then you lay down on your back, this can all, it's kind of, it's a lift also for, 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 for your décolletage, right? Sleeping on your back and also on your side when you place your arms in the correct position. I can do, I don't want to go too long. I'm talking way too long right now. So I can do another life and then I will be better prepared lying in bed <laughs> with all my pillows um, so that I can really show it to you. If you are interested, just let me know. Sleeping with bra is uncomfortable. Yes, Kana, it is. That's why I said, don't use a bra. Um, I don't know how the correct word is. I would say it's not a sports bra. It's kind of a very soft cotton bralette. I don't know that that more um, pushes everything to your to your rib cage and not um, um, pushes it's not a push up or something like that. I, I really mean something absolutely com comfortable so um, that everything is at the right um, place. Okay, so I hope that helped you a little bit for sleeping on your side and sleeping on your back stretching routine. Use as much pillows as you need when you are lying on your side. Another thing for your head, I wanted to talk about that too. So when I'm lying like this, of course, everything is smashed into the pillow. But what I can do is I can turn my head just slightly, just a little bit up to the ceiling. Um, of course, not in this, this position, but like this. And I can kind of take my, take my pillow and form a little bit, um, uh, form a little bit, how can I say that? So I would not sleep like, like this, but I would take the pillow a little bit more like this so that parts of my face um, are free, right? So I would place it here and then I can sleep a little bit better. Also, when you are turning from the side, just a little bit to your back, not that much, just a little bit. And you can also place a pillow. You can also use your husband. <laughs> Um, in your back so that you are not rolling around but that you are really with a good position good posture just turn around a little bit and then you are lying in a way better position for your neck for your shoulders for your hips for your entire back and for your face okay so half an hour that was 10 minutes too long i will now go through the questions and see if you have some i can directly answer and um, yeah, I will stay here definitely for a couple more minutes because I really want to cover your questions. And um, yeah, just let me know if you have more. Go for it. I'm here. Okay. This is a lot. I hope I felt welcome. Okay. Give me one to learn eye massage. Yes, there will be. 
Aisha, that's good that you post under this video because we see your comments and I will put it on my list. Um, stomach sleeper, I know not the best for my face. No, Maddie, stomach sleeping, not for your face. It's for your face. It's kind of the same than side sleeping, but double intense. If I'm smashing my face when I'm sleeping on my side like this, when I'm sleeping on my stomach, it's like this because I have to turn around my head and my head definitely wants to turn back in the other direction. And it's worse for your, for your, um, cervical spine as well. So if you are a stomach sleeper, I can highly recommend try to change it slowly. As I told you in the beginning, um, but try to change it. And I can do another life for stomach sleeping, definitely. Um, what can I eat to lose weight? I will not talk about um, that today, but of course it is a big thing what you eat because also your skin and all your nutrients are coming from what you are eating. So you can do a ton for your skin with a good and healthy diet. It will be on my list too. So what should we should remove the pillows too no i think i've already answered that you can you can when you can sleep on your back without a pillow beautiful that's amazing i can't because then my head is turning to one side and i'm getting the wrinkles here so i have to use a small pillow that prevents um my head from rolling around at night so uh, when i'm really relaxed my head always tends to go to one side, most of the time to the left. Um, that's why I'm stretching a little bit more on my left side because obviously the muscles here are stronger. So I know that, but I need to have something um, that this doesn't happen when I'm sleeping. So if you can, yes, if you can't use a small one. Mm, what else? Side sleeper, side sleeper, side sleeper. Okay, I sleep on my front with face smashed into the pillow. Yeah, try to change that. I know it is not easy. I can't sleep on my back, mostly sleeping on my stomach. Sabrina, I hear you. Um, all of the above, I move all night, which is kind of good, Tamara, if you wake up still um, relaxed and you still found a good sleep. Okay. I'm sorry, I have, I want to go through all of this. Absolutely right with the lines of eyes and cheeks. Yes, it is. And if you have asymmetrical lines anywhere in your face, think of your sleeping position first. Definitely bad for necklines. Yes. How can we minimize the lines, please? Face yoga, everything you find here, everything you find on our website, everything up to the sleeping position, drinking enough water, doing the DIY face mask. We have so much um, in our blogs. Just go to the website or make your way through here. Do you use a pillow? Yes, I'm using a pillow. Actually, what I really like is the Save My Face pillow. Um, I'm not sure if it is available on Amazon right now. They have a page, I think, we can add the, the link here and you can, you can have a watch, uh, have a look. We have, yeah, that's what I like. Otherwise, if I don't have that, I'm just using a small, a very flat pillow and I fold it like this so that it's really in this part or sometimes I leave it, it's, it's a, a square like this. And sometimes when I'm lying, I'm just, taking the edges of the square so that they are directly here at the bottom of my skull so that my head cannot turn in one direction. So you have tried to have to work your way around with a small pillow, what works best for you. Puffy eyes, yes. When you're lying like this all the night and if you're even, or most, Mostly when you have one eye back more on one side in the morning, you look into the mirror and you say, hey, this side has a deeper or a more prominent um, eye back. Maybe you slept on that side more. What happens? You are blocking the lymphatic pathways and um, the lymph cannot, the, the toxins, the lymph cannot 
flow. So what happens? You will get your eye back in the morning. Same when you are grinding your teeth, for example, and the masseter muscle is tense and thick. Same there. And of course, whatever you ate the day before, I can definitely see that in my eye bags when I'm eating too salty or dairy the next morning, I will have a little bit puffy eyes. Same for puffy eyes. Yes, hard to breathe when I'm sleeping on my back. Nancy, yes. So when you are lying on your back, you have the entire rib cage, which is kind of heavy, um, pressing against your lungs. But on the other hand, that is good for your lungs because you learn or they have to work and really expand the rib cage. Do the stretches, really open your rib cage before you go to sleep or before you try to meditate first while you are lying on your back or listen to a podcast or something like that to get used to it. Don't start with sleeping and really concentrate on your um, on your breathing because this definitely gives me um, or I think you are breathing here on your chest and we should breathe into our stomach and also three-dimensional so it's not only this we don't you don't have to use your shoulders you don't have to breathe with your chest we need to or we should use our diaphragm diaphragma when we are breathing to really really get the full movement of the lungs to expand the lungs breathing is such a powerful thing i don't want to talk about it today but try that try if you are breathing if you are i don't know do you say that a chest breather i don't know um but try to change your breathing pattern try to really um, breathe into your belly, into your side ribcage, into the back of your ribcage. Really try to expand and maybe you really need to work on your thoracic spine first and really open up everything here in your chest. Mm, Tina, please do these lives more often. Oh, thank you. You address topics that are very important. Actually, our social media manager, Steph, who, and Renata, who are reading all your comments every day. I'm in the community also every day, but they are, they know what you need and they are telling me, hey, Tina, do something about side sleeping. And that's why it's so important. Thank you, Steph, for giving me this topic because I know um, you love to hear about it. We need a live from you talking about how to avoid creating more lines with face yoga. Thank you. Love you. Yes, that is a good one because, yeah, we are getting some questions about, oh my gosh, I don't want to get more lines. I definitely can do that. That is an amazing, um, how do you say that? An amazing idea, Marisol. I will put that on my list too. Mm, okay, I think, thank you for the feedback, Marisol. Oh yeah. See, Face Yoga Method and Fumiko are watching too. <laughs> um, let me see. I really appreciate the demonstration. Yes, sorry for moving around here in my, my daughter's room. Um, can we watch the video later? Yes, absolutely. How to prevent the sleeping lip wrinkle. Okay, um, what I said, when you have your pillow and you are lying on your pillow like this, um, try to change the position. Try to really um, sleep that your mouth is free. And you can check that. Take your, take your um, mobile device and, or, or, and take a picture. Lay down on your side or on your stomach, just like when you are sleeping. Or let somebody else take the photo. That's even better. And let somebody take a photo of your face. And then you can see. You will definitely see what's going on. That... In each and every situation, you should do that. When you have um, more lines on one mouth, do a video when you are talking and watch it without sound or when you are chewing and you will be amazed or not amazed what you can see, what the patterns, the moving patterns of your facial muscles are doing. Same with sleeping, lay down just like, oh my gosh, yeah, now I'm in my ah, most beautiful sleeping position. Close your eyes, let somebody else take a photo and then you can see, oh my gosh, now I know 
why I'm getting this wrinkle under my eyes and why my nasal, nasolabial fold on this side is longer and deeper. You can check that. It's so easy. Just take a picture. Okay, I'm afraid my I've already answered the decolletage question. Okay, I think I think I have covered kind of everything. When I sleep on my left side, my left shoulder muscle is more forward than my right. Yeah, so try to try to adjust it. Use your pillows. Try to make it as comfortable um, as you can and just try that. Okay, dark under eye circles. Yes, we have that on the list. My right eyelid is getting lower. Okay, I will. Yes, it could be. Nana, this is a good one. My right eyelid is getting lower and I have pain on my left shoulder. So is it related to sleeping patterns? It could be. Yes, of course, there are a ton of reasons and I don't know you, Nana. I haven't seen your face or I haven't seen the way your facial muscles are working together. But definitely, yes, you can just yeah, just imagine when I'm sleeping on my side like this, it could be there can some droopiness can come from that. Or when I'm sleeping more like this also, right? When I, when I like to, to, to um, have more pillow here, of course, I will get droopiness more on this side. And with your shoulder, when you wake up in the morning and your left shoulder hurts, yes, it could be or it could have to do something with your sleeping position. Absolutely. How to deal with jowls? Yes, we will have that. I cannot answer these questions. I want to stick because I'm way over time. I'm so sorry, I've just joined. Saima, quick um, overview. Just watch the video again. I know it's long, but um, it will be here forever. So you can always, Sangeeta, hi. You can always rewatch it. Okay. I think, I think I have. Can you show us your stretching routine? Actually, Laura, I would love to, if um, more are interested in my morning, my evening stretching routine, I will definitely talk to um, the social media team and to Fumiko and let's see if we can do a live about stretching. Yes. Nasal breathing only, mouth closed, please. Kana. Absolutely right. Uh, my teacher, it's a long time ago, my teacher always said, mouth is for breathing, uh, nose is for breathing, mouth is for eating. Yes, you should never ever, except you are doing really hard sports. And I know a lot of um, athletes who are just breathing through their nose. Um, even, um, tennis or soccer player who are trying to breathe through the nose all the time. Yes, please. Lung cancer and lung problems. Ricarda, of course, that's a total different thing. Um, you need to find the sleeping position you can sleep in. If it's not possible for you because of your health or because of I don't know what, Use the sleeping position where you can sleep in. As I said in the beginning, the sleep is the most important thing. Not if it's on your right or mm -hmm. Any yoga for face scars? Yes, a ton, but not today. I'm so sorry, but I will put everything on my list. The chiropractor told me you have one side lower than the other. Which is the left lower than the right? Yes, Nana, but you are already by the um, doing a chiropractic therapy. I'm at the chiropractor every two weeks, so I know what you mean. Yes, absolutely. Okay. About the big O on a video when, yes, I can do that. Using my neck muscles too much, I know that. I have the same problem. You can even see that when I'm speaking, you can see all this. I ha always have to, and you can see it with my head when I'm in this position. So I have the same problem, um, but I cannot talk about that today. But Debbie, definitely, because I have to work on this issue every single day so much. 
um, we can definitely talk more about the neck area. Okay, I think I have covered all the questions here and I, I have to stop now. 45 minutes is way too long. Um, otherwise, somebody else will um, tell me, Tina, your lives are so long. So I will stop here. Please excuse me for taking your time too long if you are still here, but I really wanted to cover this. Um, because I struggled with sleeping, with my sleeping pattern for such a long time and I'm seeing and I'm feeling the benefits and, and the just everything now that I'm able to fall asleep on my back and when I wake up in the middle of the night, always around three in the morning, I turn around on my side and I go on sleeping. But I, I know where you are, I feel it. Um, but it's worth it. Just try it. And I'm always here for you to do another life, to help you on this path. Um, it is not easy. I know. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful face, yogis. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, I'm wishing you a beautiful rest of your Friday and a wonderful weekend. Sleep well. And as I said, when you are a beginner with a back sleeping Try to do it first when you're meditating or doing something else and choose a night where it doesn't matter when you stand up in the next morning where you don't have to think about anything else. Use all the pillows you have. Try to do a digital detox before. Calm down your mind and yeah, just make it as comfortable as possible. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Beautiful face, Yugi. See you the next Friday. Bye-bye.